Hey y'all, my name's Tyson, and this time we're gonna look at part two of making cables. Part two, yes, there is a part one. If you haven't seen it, just recently we had another scale builder on creating these type of cables where you have sort of a follow me effect, um, simple pipes along a path. This time, we're gonna take these paths and instead array a series of components along them. It gives us a very different effect and a different way to create some very cool looking models. Um, let's have a look. So again, we won't cover how to draw these curves as we did that in the previous version, but we drew them, I was drawing them just with the simple native Bezier tool. There's other ways to do it, but that's the one that we were using. Let's start with this polyline and draw a component. This will do. I'm gonna select this, make it a component. Now, I'm gonna to need to come back and change the axis in a moment. So you would typically wanna do that, but let's just go ahead, create that, select the line and go up to Chris Fulmer's component stringer. This is the first method we're gonna use. And for scaling, I'm gonna say none. This would give some different effects, but let's just say none. Don't worry about rotation, okay. What this does is it puts a component at every segment of this line. Now the way that we drew this line, or at least that I drew this line, was again with the native Bezier tool. If I select that line, I draw, drew an extra edge at the front and, and end of it, and that gave me a series uh, or a total of 22 segments because every Bezier tool is gonna be 20. So 20 plus those extra two, if we're gonna use component stringer, we wanna be able to change the series and the spacing of uh, this polyline. We wanna be able to affect how many segments are in it. Otherwise, we can only ever have whatever it's given to us by the tool we use. Let me undo and fix a couple things then. First is, <laughs> as we saw, The orientation of the components is also not correct. And that depends on the axis. So let's go in here and right click and place this axis. Now let me turn the hidden geometry on, or I'm sorry, x-ray mode on and put this back here at the base. And for Chris Fulmer's tool, I want to line the blue axis up with my line. So. I'll move the red axis, say over here, and then the green axis up, or maybe like this, so that I can line that blue axis up as best as possible. Right click, close it, yes, accept that. That's part one, turn x-ray mode off. Now, the other part that we want to affix is the number of segments in this line. There is a, extension called Fredo Spline. And this is actually a really powerful Bezier tool. If you do this type of piping a lot, you may want to get this tool just for the ability to create uh, splines. But we're not going to use that. We're going to use this option that's called Polyline Segmentor. And it's going to give us an option. Let's turn this up. Let's say uh, 40 segments and we we're gonna equalize them. And I'll just click to accept that. And now this line has more segments and they're equally spaced and we should get a better result. So select our component, select our polyline, go back to Chris Fulmer's component stringer. Make sure we turn off scaling. And again, you may wanna play around with rotation based on what you're doing, but now we have this interesting segmented cable. And at this point, we could just come in and affect any one of these. 
to create some more detail and whatever it is that we're trying, whatever effect or look that we're trying to create. So that's version one of this method is using Chris Fulmer's polygon, or I'm sorry, Chris Fulmer's component stringer. And again, just we just need to be careful of the axis of our component and of the number of segments in our line, which we can change by using Rado Spline's polyline segmentor. Let's look at method number two. It's going to be similar, but it'll be a little bit simpler. This one is reliant on what's called path array. Now, path array is part of sketch plus a series of extensions that are all bundled under one called uh, sketch plus and that is made by Mindsight Studios. That and Fredo Spline, I believe are both paid plugins. So just keep that in mind. We need to start with a similar uh, option. So let's build a component that we're going to array along this path. And we need to change the axis. We, we learned that before. That's true on this one as well. So I'm going to set the component axis right from the start. However, this time it's not the blue axis. This one wants us to line up the red axis for this to work best. So I'm going to line the red axis up and point the green somewhere. That should work. Turn my x ray mode off. All right. I'm going to select the path first and then go to path array. We're going to start by clicking which end we want to start with. And we'll start with the one that has our component based on it. So that's click number one. And then if I do click number two, we just need to click on the component. Now the cool thing about this option is we can then simply move our cursor to create the number of total segments that are going to be part of this. Keep in mind, we did change the axis, but if I hit the shift key, it'll change how it orients to the axis. So if yours doesn't look right, tap the shift key and something like that should be fine. Very cool. We have a string of marshmallows. Let's come in and again, add just a little bit of detail. So it looks like these are all actually meant to be connected. And that's the idea, whatever you have in mind. You can create some really interesting details now. And you have a different way to create a very cool cable like that. Again, based on the tightness of your curves, you can see that these are, these are based on the, uh, you know, we may or may not get perfect results, so you'll have to play with that, but it is a pretty cool option. So those are the two options that I think are interesting. Path Array, which is part of Sketch Plus, and Chris Fulmer's Component Stringer. So what do you think? I, do you find that useful? Do you find that, uh, do you have a better idea perhaps? I would love to hear it. Please let us know in the comments what you thought, if you have a different idea, and actually there's more tools than these. If this type of things is what you're trying to do, you can use Fredo Scale to bend uh, shapes and create kind of some interesting things. There's a plugin called True Bend, where you could create a initial twisted shape and then bend that and then possibly bend it again. There's lots of options when you're combining extensions like this. So it's fun to experiment. Hopefully that was helpful for you. Let us know. Let us know if you have other ideas or suggestions uh, for skill builders in general. We'd love to hear them. Thank you all for joining us. As always, please give us that like and that subscribe. We put a lot of these videos out uh, on the regular. And otherwise, see you later.